Okay, so I'm going to discuss what different age ranges might know about making hair gel. So for kindergarten through third grade, children generally understand the different states of matter. So they understand liquids, solid, gas, and they know their general properties like, oh, this solids tend to hold their shape, liquids take on the shape of their container, same with gas, things like that. So, at this level, um, children can start making predictions. So, for example, these two liquids, um, a child might predict that these liquids would just stay liquid if you combine them, because they're already liquids. So, this is sort of a good experiment for showing that that's not always the case. Sometimes there's a chemical reaction and it changes the state of matter, so... That is kindergarten through around third grade. Okay, I'm going to talk about what grades four through six might know. So around this age, children know about atoms, and they're starting to understand how different atoms can combine into different molecules. So since we're doing an acid-base reaction for making hair gel, we might go into how the acid contains um, hydrogen, which is found here on the left, the very top, and how this is a positively charged ion. And then we might learn about how it combines with a base, and bases contain an OH group or a hydroxide group, and this contains oxygen combined with a hydrogen, but overall this um, hydroxide group is negative, so they can start to learn how in general, um, a neutralization can be achieved by combining a positive element from around the left with a negative um, compound from the right. So in this case, the oxygen, which is an element on the right, would make the compound overall negative. So they start to learn about how different compounds and elements can combine into different neutral compounds. So... That's it for 4th through 6th grade. So for middle school and beyond, I wanted to elaborate on the whole acid-base reaction and how um, it kind of has to do with protons and electrons. So um, in general, the hydrogen is the proton donor because it's the positive one and the hydroxide group is the proton acceptor because it's negative. So you can kind of think of it as like these magnets. So as you can see here, this one on the right is accepting that magnet. So you can kind of think about how different charges um, can combine and neutralize that way. So it's kind of like I combined a, hydrox a hydroxyl group with a hyd hydrogen group and it formed this combined magnet. So that's one way of maybe thinking about neutralization. Um, also for high school, um, you might want to go more into how carbamer 940 is a polymer. So that means it's more of like a long carbon chain. So I think, especially if they're taking maybe an advanced placement chemistry class, they might be getting a little bit of an introduction to organic chemistry. And they can maybe learn about how um, there's a cross-linking in the polymer of the carbamer 940 when it's neutralized with the triethanolamine. And that's what forms the hair gel product. So... That would be middle school and up, and that's it.